All right, guys, let's do our risk mobility sequence to start off with. So you can follow along with me. There's quite a few elements to this sequence. We don't have to do all of them each time. So clearly here we're bending through the wrist. Make sure the elbows are pressed straight and you can lean forward a little bit. Entirely up to you how much load you put. And then add a little bit of a drift left and right, just so you're loading up each wrist in turn and changing the angle slightly. Good. Okay, and then change to palms down but fingers pointing back towards you. And we'll make sure we do this one at the end after we've done our chin up work. So again, really actively press the heel of the hand into the floor, press the elbows straight. Guys, come on in if you want, we've just started. Just warming up the wrists. And the same little drift left and right. And or you can also do some little circle movements in both directions. So just to warm up, don't go crazy, make sure you keep breathing. Good. Okay, back of the hands down. First thing here is to press the elbows straight. And if you can do the wind up so the inside is pointing to your front, that's great. Lean back a little bit. Just get a bit of bend at the wrist joints. And the same little drift left and right. Good, keep breathing. Good work, Aaron, keep going. Okay, fingers pointing together, backs of the hands down. In this one, it doesn't matter where your elbows are oriented. We're just pressing the elbows straight and keep the elbows pressed straight as you now make a fist. And that's just not curling the fingers up, it's really closing the fist. But Peter, see how you're bending the elbows to facilitate that? So only go as much as you can keeping the elbows straight. And there's no particular speed with this one. Excellent. All right, shake out. Okay, finish off with just a bit of finger strength. So try and be on the tips of the fingers, press the fingers into the carpet, as well as try and pull them together, but they don't actually move because you've got weight on them. Press the elbows straight. That's good. Nice, Jason. Adriana, try with the fingers a bit spread apart. All right, now for a count of five, go to your maximum load that you can sustain. So maybe you can go up onto your feet, Maybe you can go into more of a knee plank, so more weight on the arms. So really work it. Press the fingers into the floor and squeeze together. Good, Pete. Look at that right thumb. Try and go to the tip of it. That's it. And rest. Come down. Check out. Okay, a little bit of spinal warm-up. Just five slow transitions between what I call angry cat, which is maximum shoulder blades apart, and then happy cat trying to really pull the shoulder blades together. You can follow that movement with the whole spine, so real flexion and real extension, but the main purpose of this is mobilizing the shoulder blades in apart and pulling together. Good. When you're in the top position, really actively press the hands down through the floor. Imagine you're doing a full plank. That's the shape we're gonna have. Good. So just a couple more of those, keep breathing and try to keep the elbows straight in both directions. Come on in, Julia, don't worry about us. Good. Okay, and now, might need to spread out a little bit more. What I'd like you to do is just five or six slow transitions between a plank and up to what looks a bit like a dog pose, but I'm actually up on the balls of my feet, so there's no calf or hamstring stretch and I'm trying to end up in the alignment that I'd have for a handstand. And then just go back through plank and just repeat that a few times. So it's not just a mindless movement between one and the other. When you're pressing up into the dog, you're really actively pressing the hand into the floor, pressing the elbows straight, trying to shrug the shoulders up towards your ears. Jason, that's lovely, good work. Make sure you keep breathing. Good. In terms of where your head should be, you need to be able to just see your thumbs. So you shouldn't be looking back towards your toes. You just want to be able to spy your thumbs. So Jason, stay there and try and add a bit of a tail tuck. That's the shape we want for the handstand line. 
Good, Pete, stay there, but look at your thumbs just a bit more. So just two more each of those. This is great work, guys. Good, Nick. Nick, press your bum back towards the wall behind you. Keep going up and back. That's where you want to be. Good. Okay. All right, now first exercise we'll get out of the way. The hardest one is the L-sit work. So all we're going to focus on is legs in the position that we want them for L-sit. So that's really actively press straight, squeeze together, toes pointed. And all we're going to work on keeping all of this active is getting as much press up as we can. Okay, now if you look at my position, I'm quite curled over. That's fine. We're not going to be too precious about the body alignment. We're just trying to get up. Okay, we do six or seven of those in a row. 20 seconds on and 10 second rest. Pardon? That sort of thing, yeah. Okay, so press your knees really straight. Point the toes, pull everything together. Find a hand position and up you go. Clock is on. So if the first couple, your main cue is pressing down as hard as you can. Are the triceps working really hard to press the elbows straight? Pressing down with the pecs. Do not hold your breath. Five seconds to go in this first rep. Good. Press down harder and rest. That's number one. Shake the legs out. Okay, five second warning. So set the legs again. Press straight, point, squeeze, and up you go. Press down hard. Press down even harder. Try and use a bit of abdominal work to help suck the hips up. Ron, that's excellent. Press the knees straight and press. Press the knees straight and press. Need a bit more traction, Adriana. <laughs> and rest. That's two. Good work, Jason. Shake out. So we'll just do four more of these. Okay, three second warning. So press legs straight. Up you go. Good. So I know it's hard work. Just really work hard to press down. Try and really press up so the hips are as far off the floor as you can get them. Press the knees straight. Good. It's really hard to press the knees straight because as you bend forward, the hamstrings come under stretch. Two seconds to go and rest. Good. Shake out. No editing. It's just what it is. Okay. Are we ready? Number four coming up and go. Press down hard. Good, Adriana. That's great. Just stay there and keep pressing. That's 10 seconds gone. Redouble your efforts. Press down hard. Press the elbows straight. Try and contract with the abs. Ron, lovely work. Two seconds to go and rest. Good. That's four. We've got one more. Okay, three second warning. Off we go. Last one. This time focus on breathing. Take a deep breath in through your nostrils and breathe out. Take another deep breath in and breathe out. And stay up, Nick. <laughs> Not going down as well. Keep pressing. Good work, Jason. Good, Pete. Two seconds to go and rest. Good work. All right, go and grab yourself a partner and a stick between the two of you. And we'll get our breath back and do our chest opening stretch. So don't be too ambitious with your grip, so don't go too narrow. Okay. So just sit down in front of your partner. That's it. All right, partners, you need to make sure that you're holding the stick inside their arms or as near to as you can. Good. So Nick, you've got to widen those hands when you're in position. That's it. Yep. Okay, lean back, Adriana, so your arms are straight. Okay, so right at the beginning, the person doing the stretch, you want to actively press the stick back towards your partner. And then, partners, you follow that movement, because all of your shoulders went back quite a way by drawing the stick back. 
Now the focus of the exercise is getting the air into the very top of the chest. So every time you breathe in, try and make that part move up and out. Good. Nick, lean back a little bit more so your left arm's straight. All right, now tell your partner when you're going to do a contraction, which is just to pull the stick forward, because they need to be able to resist. Nice, Pete. Really good line. Big breath in, lift the chest again. And then really work at rolling the shoulders back to the partner. Yeah, just pull, pull it back again. Okay, so we'll just add a slight assistance to help reposition the shoulder, roll it back. Excellent. And partners, when they're ready to come out, make sure you let them out really slowly. Excellent. Great work, Ron. That's really improving. Yeah, no, it's great. The chest is really lifted and this is really straight now. Now we just have to get those shoulders to go back a little bit more. All right, Pete, that'll probably do for you. <laughs> Big smile for the camera. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so just listen to that first cue. Once you're in position, and Adriana, you want a palm down grip. That's it. When the foot, feet are in position, it's going to say foots then, press the stick back to your partner. Good. That's your truly available flexibility right at the start. And then we're trying to progress it in the stretch. Good. If you have a tendency to be really mobile in the lower back, try and do a little tail tuck as you sit on the bum, because then the movement is higher up. Good. That's lovely, Nick. Very nice, Adriana. So just feel what I'm doing with the shoulder, with my hands. Just help roll it back a fraction, okay? Now we do the one, same thing on the other side, although this one is already sitting quite a bit further back. Excellent. So that rolling the shoulder back is the one for you to focus on because you don't have any trouble getting the chest lifted. Good. Again, when they're ready to come out, partners do it really slowly. Lovely. Good. Okay, well let's clear the floor of the sticks because the rest of the circuit is just you on a bit of carpet. So you want to have enough room around you. Okay, see you Julia, have a lovely Christmas. Travel safely, see you later. Okay, so the first exercise will be the arch, but we're only going to focus on the cueing for the lower half of the body, which is all about getting the glutes active. Okay, so what I've been playing with in my own workouts at home each day is doing it with the arms outstretched, but they're going to stay down. And in fact, no problem doing a little push down with the arms into the floor, because as we've been working on, we want to try and lift the belly off the floor and get the front of the body contracting so that when we do this movement, it's not the back muscles doing the movement. Okay, so just try it. And it actually feels nicer being stretched out and long, I've been finding. Okay, so we're going to do six or seven of these, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So squeeze the glutes, pick the lower belly up, and then the main cue is pressing the legs away from you, as hard as you can, press them away. Another cue is to imagine someone's holding the ankles and they're drawing the legs out of your hip joints. Good. Press the knees straight as hard as you can. So the quads are working as well. Five seconds to go here. Peter, let's do it with the legs together because we can also squeeze together and rest. That's number one. So we're doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Okay, three second warning when you're ready. So squeeze the glutes, pick the belly up and off you go. Press the legs away from you. Adriana, that's lovely. You, you will eventually lift the legs, but we don't want that to be the initial cue, Nick, because it tends to make you just use the back muscles. Okay, so press the legs away. Another way to think about it, Nick, is the legs are just floating up. They're almost weightless. 
and rest. Good. The final position, Nick, is with the legs and the upper body as high as we can, evenly, but we're just trying to get the glute activation. Okay, off we go again. So pick the belly up, squeeze the glutes and press the legs away from you. And when you feel the glutes are working, then you can try to lift the legs. But keep pressing the legs away even as you raise them. Press the knees straight. Two seconds and rest. Good, that's number three, you're halfway there. Okay, three second warning, so squeeze, tilt the hips, pick the belly up and off you go. Press the legs away, squeeze them together as well. Everything is working, I'm trying to make these whole body exercises. That's 10 seconds gone. Point your toes as hard as you can so your instep, insteps cramp. Four <laughs> seconds to go and stop. Good, that's number four. Two more. Okay, three second warning. So squeeze the glutes, tilt the pelvis, pick the belly up. Now press the legs away, press the knees straight, squeeze the legs together. Peter, don't let me pull them apart. Good. Again, really good visualization is someone's holding your ankles and pulling the legs out. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing comfortably. Two seconds and rest. Good work. Okay, we've got one more of these and then we're immediately going to go on to reverse planks. Okay, two second warning, away we go. Last one. So every single fibre of your glutes is working to squeeze tight. Press the legs away. Halfway there, 10 seconds to go. Good, re-squeeze, re-press the legs away, press the knees straight. Nice, two seconds and rest. Okay, roll over. Immediately we do reverse planks. So sit up on your bum, hands behind the shoulders there, and up you go. It's number one. Okay, again we use the same activation. So everyone drop the hips a couple of millimetres, re-tuck the tail, keep that tail hold, held on to the max as you drive the heels through to get the hips up again. Breathe. Breathe in through the nostrils, breathe out and rest. That's number one. Your hand position in these is optional and you may care to change it each go. Okay, three second warning and up you go now. Okay, so as well as maximum tail tuck and driving the heels through, press the legs straight, point the toes, squeeze them together. You're halfway there. Take a breath in and breathe it out. Take another deep breath in, breathing in through the nostrils and breathe it out and rest. Good work, that's number two. Ron, you want to add the pulling the ribs down cue. Okay, two second warning, up you go again now. Okay, so let's focus on the upper body. Pull the navel in and press through your arms. Try and press your chest bone up to the ceiling. Another visualization is someone's got their hand between your shoulder blades and you're lifting up away from that hand. Three seconds to go and rest. Good, that's three, we've got three to go. And then your arms will get a rest. Okay, two second warning and go now. Okay, so tuck the tail, pull the navel in, drive the heels through the floor, press your chest up to the ceiling. Think about the stick stretch. Make your upper back as long as you can without arching into the lower back and now roll your shoulders back, just like you did in the stick stretch and rest. Good work. Beautiful line, Peter. Lovely. Okay, two more. And we go now. Up you go. Good. So pull this little monkey down. That's it. Halfway there, press up harder. New cue. Try and drag the hands together against the friction of the floor. Get the muscles between the shoulder blades to cramp and stop rest. Good work guys, we've got one more of these, then we go down for a hollow series. Okay, two second warning, up you go. Really work hard with the arm work, you will get a rest for the arms in a minute. Good. So Peter, press up more and roll the shoulders back and then pull the ribs down. Excellent. Eight seconds to go. That's nice work Adriana, drive those heels into the floor. Good work Jason, beautiful form. 
also pull the ribs down and rest. Okay, lie back on your back, hands down by your sides and knees are bent and feet are flat on the floor. This is our start position. Okay, show me your hollow, so curl up as high as you can with your legs in that position. Up you come. Now make sure your lower back is jammed flat on the floor. All right, now if you can, just hover the feet off the floor about two millimetres. It's a very small change in angle at the hip. Now you're holding the weight of your legs. Good, Adriana. Two seconds to go and rest. Good. Now be really strict and honest with yourself. If you can't keep the lower back down with the weight of the legs, keep the feet down. All right, up you go again. Please start with the legs down. Make sure the lower back is flat. Curl up even further than you thought you could. And now hover the feet. You might want to just hover one foot. Julia before was just coming up to toe point. Five seconds to go, recurl. That's it, Peter, good. And rest. That's two, we're doing five of this version. Now there's a bit of puffing going. I know you're working hard, but we need to breathe more. Okay, up you go again. So curl up, flatten the lumbar spine, tilt the hips, and then just hover the feet. Nick, that's lovely. Curl up even more. Halfway there. Good, make this curl you. Get to your maximum height and hold it. Really fight to hold the top. Two seconds to go and rest. Lovely work, Jason. Really good. Okay. Let's go. Second last one of this version. So maximum curl up, flatten the lower back and just try and hover the feet. Good, Hannah. Curl up even higher. Hold it. 10 seconds to go. Recurl. Try and walk your fingers past your toes. Good. And rest. Excellent work. One more of these. Okay, two second warning. So flatten the lumbar spine, up your curl, curl up even further than you thought you could, and then just try and hover the feet. Again, be honest. If your lower back is not staying down, put the legs down. Good. Eight seconds to go. Nice, Ron. Curl up even more. That's it. Hold that height. Two seconds and rest. Okay, stretch your legs out long, squeeze them together. And we're just going to do the hollow with the legs straight, but on the floor. So up you come, maximum hollow. Have the fingers up on the top of your thighs and try and walk the fingers to your kneecaps. Good. If you cannot keep the lower back flat with the legs completely straight, bend them a little bit. That's okay. Try and come up further. Five seconds to go. And rest. That's number one. We're just going to do three of these and then three of the easiest version. Okay, so set the legs, flatten the lower back and up you come. This is number two, 20 seconds. So re-cue, pull the navel in to help flatten the lumbar spine. Press the legs straight completely if you're doing it straight need. They're not just a bit straight, they're actively straight. Point your toes hard, squeeze the legs together. Two seconds and don't hold your breath and rest. Good. Good work, guys. We've got one more of these. You're really earning your Christmas lunch. Okay, up you go. Good. So re-cue. Is your lower back flat on the floor? Another useful but not very pleasant visualisation. Imagine there's hot rods being pressed down into your lower abdomen. You're pulling in away from them. Five seconds to go. Good, Hannah. Really good. And rest. Okay, three of the easy version, that is knees completely bent and hips, sorry, knees up above your hips. So a closed tuck position. So when you're ready, up you come. And then you just add the curl up. So there's really no effort here to keep the lower back flat and you're not really holding the weight of the legs. So focus on these last three on maximum curl up. Really fight to curl as high as you can and hold it. Two seconds to go. That's great, Nick. And rest. Good. In the final two, we'll have a small change in arm position. All right, so kick the legs up into position. 
And if you're getting fatigued, by all means, have the knees closer to the chest. Okay, up you come, hollow up, hollow up further, curl up higher, hold it, breathe. All right, now slowly take your arms up above your face and then recurl. Good, Nick, lovely. Four seconds to go. Relax your face, Pete. Keep your throat open and breathe and rest. Good work. Okay, we've got one more of these. Grand finale on the hollows. We'll add a different hand position. Okay, up you come. So legs up in position. Big curl up, so maximum curl. So last one, so really work it hard. Good, keep breathing. Okay, arms up above your face for five seconds. All right, now try and take the arms right out next to your ears. Good, recurl. You've got four seconds to go, recurl and stop. Good. Okay, turn over. We're going to do some plank work. Okay, so we'll start up on a full arm plank. So up in this position and we'll do four of these and then we'll go straight down and do four elbow planks. Okay, same timing sequence, 20 seconds on, 20 second, a 10 second rest I should say. Okay, so up you go, we're starting with an arm plank, clock is on. Alright, now your arms have had a rest, so now really focus on pressing the elbows straight and press your middle back up to the ceiling. This is where we want the maximum spreading apart of the shoulder blades. Press down harder, always get a little bit more height. Three seconds to go and rest. Good. Again, you can change your hand position each go if you'd like to. Okay, three second warning, number two coming up and go now. Okay, as well as the maximum pushing up, use the abs to produce the hollow shape. It's gymnastics plank shape. Beautiful form, Ron. Imagine there's a hand behind your shoulder blades and you're pressing up to that hand. Five seconds to go. Do not hold your breath and rest. Good. That's two of four, so we've got two more of those. Nice work, Nick. Okay, three second warning, up you go. Start now. All right, let's work down the body. Keep pressing, keep hollowing with the abs, pull the belly up. Now squeeze your glutes as firm as you can and use the glutes to tuck the tail. Good. If you can't maintain the tail tuck, go to the knees, no problem. Four seconds, press and tuck. Jason, if you can drop the hips a fraction and rest. Good work. Good work, Pete. One more of these and we're starting now. So up you go. So focus on your breathing as well as all the other cues. Take a breath in through your nostrils and breathe it out. Press down harder. Get the shoulder blades spread apart. Use the abs to hollow. Jason, go to the knees so you can keep the tail tucked and press up more and rest. Good. Okay. Three second warning, we're doing our first elbow one. So ready? Go now. So all the same activation, but I find it feels quite different pressing up out of the shoulders from the elbows. Good. That's it, Jason. Now press up to my hand. Hold it. Let the head hang forward. It's more comfortable. Press up again. Hold that. Beautiful work. Three seconds to go and rest. Excellent. So there's three more of these guys and then it's all over with. Okay, three second warning and we'll go now. If you're on the feet and you can't press and you can't tuck, go to your knees. The pressing up out of the shoulders and spreading the shoulder blades and the tucking the tail, they're the two points of form that can't be sacrificed. Pete, your bum's up in the air so go to your knees. Good, Ron. Press up more and rest. Good work. Two to go. See you, Carol. Have a great Christmas. We'll see you next year. Okay, three second warning. Ready? Go. So press, hollow, tuck with the tail and breathe. Good work, Jason. Even more tail tuck. Halfway there. Keep going. Squeeze the glutes. They switch off when you're distracted by other things going on. Squeeze the glutes. Good, Peter and rest. We've got one more. 
goodness me, Nick. Okay, off you go. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> we might edit out that little snort. Okay, press up. Press up higher. Come on, it's the last one, guys. I know you're getting tired, but work hard. Jason, excellent work. Press up more. Come on, there's crocodiles underneath you. Press up away from them. Two seconds and rest. Excellent work. All right, get your breath back. Get yourself chalked up. Grab a partner. And we're going to have... We're going to have three goes each of holding the top of a chin. Okay? Now, don't be too concerned about the time, but choose the time in advance. But we need to do three goes each. Okay? You can use bands. I don't care how you do it. We're just going to work on holding the top position. Okay. So, just get yourself set up. Good. Okay, so Hannah's going there. Peter, where are you going? Next to Hannah? Sure. Yeah, just move that stuff out of the way. And run. That's it. Yeah, you want a narrow grip. Okay, are we ready? So partners, help them up if they need it and stop them swinging if they start swinging. Okay, up we go. Okay, clock is on. All right, Ron, what's your number? Ten. ten. Peter, what's your number? Thirty. Thirty. That's ten, Ron. Okay, we need a slow dismount right to full arm hang. That's fifteen seconds. Good work. Good, Peter. Pull the elbows close to the ribs and pull down with your lats. That's 25 seconds. Good work, Hannah. I'm getting way stronger in this. Okay, come down in a controlled way, all the way to a straight arm. Can we do that? Can we start with descent, like at 15 seconds and then no. start going down to 30? No, no. I just don't want you to fall down and I don't want you to not go to a straight arm hang. Okay, second person. So you get yourself set up, Adriana. Good work, Peter. Really good. You going to use the band, Adriana? Yeah, palm towards your grip. That's it. Okay, we ready? And go. Good. That's good, Adriana. Hold it there. That's five seconds. Adriana, next time use the band. That's what they're for. Okay, ten seconds. Jason, pull the left elbow close, close to your body. Three, Good seven. work, Jason. Come on, you're going to make 20. That's 20 seconds, Jason. Good work. Excellent work. That's 25, Nick. Are you doing 30? Yeah. Okay. So coming down now, Nick. All the way to a straight arm hang. Good work. Okay, wait, Ron. Wait for the clock. Okay, you get yourself set up, Hannah. Beautiful work, Nick. Okay, Peter, you ready for your next one? No? Come on. Up you go. Don't think about it. Just go up. Jump. Go, Hannah. Good. Clock's on. Come on, Ron. Use the lats to pull down. Guys, get maximum height of the chin above the bar. Good. That's 10 seconds. Come on, Peter. Peter, use the lats to pull the shoulders down. Excellent. That's 16 seconds. Hannah, fantastic. Keep breathing. Come on, Ron. That's 25. Fight for it, guys. Come on. And 30. Good work. OK, Adriana, you get yourself set up with the band. There we go. Okay, Jason's are in position. Yep. Okay, off we go, up you go. Clock's on. Excellent, Jason. Good work. Really good. Come on, Adriana, fight for it. That's 10 seconds. Good work. Five to go. Come on, Adriana. 15 gone. Okay, come down slowly, Adriana. Good effort. That was 20, Jason. Good work. That's 25, Nick. 
Yeah. Okay, Nick, down you come slowly. <laughs> Just don't flip over. <laughs> okay, we've got one more go each. Oh, no. One more. Hey, Dave. All right, when you're ready. Up you go, Peter. <laughs> Clock's on. Good work. Okay. So whatever you do, three breaths in and out. At least make three slow breaths in and out. Focus on breathing comfortably. That's 15 seconds. Good work. Come on, Peter, make 20. Good. Nice work, Peter. Good. Focus on your grip. That's 25, Hannah. Come down for five. Three to go. Awesome. 30 seconds, Ron. Great work. Okay, last one coming up. All right, Adriana, set yourself up with the band. Same with Jason. Just wait two seconds, guys. Adriana's just getting in the band. Okay, on three, two, one. Up. Good. Come on, Jason, you're going to do 15. Really earn that Christmas dinner. That's five. Keep going. You give him a little bit of help. Pull up again, Jason. Pull up. Hold there. Good. Well done. That's 13. Good work. Pull up higher, Nick. Use the lats. Great work, Jason. That's 20 seconds. Good work, Adriana. Good effort there. Five seconds, Nick. Oh, we're getting a bit of shaking. Come on. That's 30. Well done. Excellent job. All right, Hannah, before you jump to the bus, just this little stretch out for your wrists. Good work, guys. Really good work. Yeah. <laughs> we did this obstacle course thing on the weekend workshop, and um, I got to the end, and I literally couldn't open my hand for about 10 minutes. <laughs> my forearms were fried. <laughs> Yeah, same one. Yeah, it was good fun. All right, guys, well done. Okay. Well, have a great Chrissy. We'll see you back in the, the new year. So we open again on the Monday the 7th. But if you're in the Tuesday groups, we are having a Tuesday class. Yeah. Okay. See you guys. <laughs> Cut <and> clap. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay.